friends and welcome to another spontaneous reading. So as I said before in the last one, which you guys really enjoyed, this is a reading that needs to come up. I don't know why, I don't know who it's for, but it's a calling I have. So listen, again, today is my day off. Had my second dose of COVID today. I felt really tired, but for some reason, something wanted me to do this reading. So I know someone needs to hear this message. So it's late here in Montreal. We have a, a more chill setup. And also I was called to use the Tahoe de Marseille, which is the first time I use on my channel. So let's see, let's pick a general energy. Tell me. Bring me the message that someone needs to hear right now in the present moment. Okay, so we have two cards, debt card and high priestess. So, okay, intense messages. Something is over. Something had to die. Someone had to let something go. Their intuition was calling them to close a door. Intuitively, I'm literally seeing a door close. I'm thinking about the Eight of Cups. Someone walking away from a situation. The thing is that there is still love in that situation. This is what I'm feeling intuitively. Something was kind of new. Something felt kind of fresh. It felt good and for some reason, one of the two uh, person involved left, either ghosted, didn't give any news. Um, it feels like a heavy energy, definitely. We'll see. We'll see what the Tarot de Marseille has to say about that. Okay. I feel like there's a message, a really intense message that needs to come out definitely for someone. It feels like this is kind of recent, okay? Um, definitely in the past couple of months. Six of Wands confirming what I was saying. So meeting this person was kind of out of the blue, okay? It could have been someone who was already involved with someone. It could have been someone who was already in love, already had feelings for another person. Maybe the person was in a committed relationship or not, or freshly out of it. There's, I'm seeing someone having two person in their heart space. So really specific message, okay? We have the two of ones. So this relationship, the person that left the other person behind, it was a really fresh relationship. It wasn't something that ever came to term or came to something really solid. So let's say you talked online, um, you had just one date, you got to meet, but not to get to know each other in, um, enough, it seems like. It's, it's really specific what I'm feeling. We have the Six of Wands. So a part of you, a part of this person knows and feel that this could have been a lot more serious than it ended up being. Someone left a situation and was still feeling a lot of love for the other person. I'm going to be honest, I feel like it's both ways. Both parties felt a lot of love. But for some reason, there's a lot of anxiety attached to the situation. That's why I feel like it could have been someone who was already in a relationship, falling in love with someone else, or having these feelings for another person. I have goosebumps saying that. A really intense, difficult situation. And someone was scared to admit their feelings 100%. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone was scared to lose everything by being clear with their true feelings, by telling the truth completely. It's like the truth wasn't even clear for the person going through that. 
again, really specific message. It's totally fine if it's not your message. Again, this is intuitive and someone needs to hear that. Five of Wands, yeah. So there was a lot of passion. There was a lot of love, a lot of attraction, but this new relationship since the beginning was, first of all, wasn't built on strong foundation. And there was a definite clash of egos between these two people. I feel like it was more the attraction that was kind of driving the two person like completely crazy. Um, two magnets feeling like they have to meet. So it could be a twin flame energy and also two of wands. I can't deny that this gives me twin flame energy. Two here, again, with the high priestess, that card, things are burning out fast because they're so intense in the beginning. Meeting this person or having conversation with this person and feeling like you've known them. Feeling like you, even if, if you don't know them that much, it's so intense, yeah. Feeling like it's a past life love, literally. Feeling like you know their smell, their body, the texture of their skin. It's like everything about them you know. Even if at first you didn't see them in person, maybe you never met this person. Uh, it could have been something that happened online, definitely. It's... It's kind of love at first sight, major attraction. But again, the sun, it burns out easily. There was talk about traveling. I'm going to travel to meet you. I'm going to come see you. I feel like I've, I know you. I feel like you can read my mind. I see you literally in my dreams. I feel like you put a spell on me. I think about you constantly. And again, this could be a person that you haven't talked to in a while. And we have the four of cups here in the reverse. You pushed them away. They pushed you away. It was an in and out situation. Someone blocking the other person. A lot of games. A lot of games. I want the other person to desire me to show me how much they love me again it's passion it's not necessarily love but i think that while it was happening there was a lot of confusion about is this love someone literally thought about leaving their life leaving the life that they had somewhere maybe with someone else or maybe you know leaving their town, traveling, changing everything to go meet this person, they felt like a mirror of yourself. You felt like they understood everything without you saying a word. They saw the darkest part of you and also the best part of you. And it's scary. There's something really scary about this. Um, about feeling like someone knows everything. I'm hearing vulnerability. Like this person, first of all, is highly spiritual. These two person are incredibly connected, not only energetically, but like spiritually for some reason. And it feels like a past life love. It's not something I, I say all the time, definitely not. But there was something powerful for me to just make this reading that late, you know. Uh, set up my table and just do this. And this specific deck that I never use <laughs> called me. And to me, this is a really love-related deck in my life. Really, really special message. This person still think about you. Yeah, two of cups. This person is a soulmate no matter what. And I think that there's no communication between these two person right now. Um, I think it's been a while. It's been a couple weeks, couple months. 
I'm hearing for some a year that you didn't actually talk to this person, but everything reminds you of them. Nature, art, music. Um, there's so many things that you want to tell them and they feel the same. That's the thing. Seven of Pentacles. It's like, even if there's no communication, even as if there's nothing really happening right now, the connection is still there and it's still growing because of the two people, I'm, I'm saying the word stubborn. It's like so, the other person is waiting for you to reach out. You're waiting for them to reach out. Maybe one of the two person is also blocked. <laughs> Four of sword. I think that there is a blocked energy for some reason. And I feel like it's been in and out, block on block, block on block. Um, it's more frustration. Like, why aren't you talking to me? Why did you move on? Why did you let me go? But I feel like it's on both sides. A lot of indecision, a lot of stress. And I don't know why there's so much stress involved in that situation. A lot of shame. And hope for a conversation. Hope for this. For I'm hearing friendship. Someone being like, at least I would want to be your friend. At least I would want to communicate with you. And I'm seeing someone writing a letter and burning it. Someone writing an email and deleting it. Not being able to send it. I mean, like, I wanted to reach out. I wanted to talk to you. See? Page of Cups. Someone tried to reach out, but for some reason, the energy was blocked. So, yeah, the Page of Cups flew out of the deck, literally, as I tried to just <laughs> put it aside. Um, this person will be reaching out. And the crazy thing is, again, I feel like you guys haven't talked for so long. And it's just a matter of who's going to make the first move. Because again, remember what I said in the beginning, a clash of egos. This is two ego-driven people and not necessarily in their regular life, in their day-to-day -day life. It's the two of them together. There is a clash. So it could be an earth sign and a water sign, a water sign and a fire sign. It could be two opposite. But again, there's a feeling of mirroring each other. You're exactly like me. We're both stubborn. We're not going to be making the first move. But someone is going to be making the first move. And I don't think it's you. I think it's them. And it's going to happen really suddenly. Like one day you're thinking about them. And there's a text, an email. Being like... Did you f forget about me? Do you miss me? Is it possible that we start over? This is a revert. We have a debt here and we have a revert here as the last card of this reading. This situation still exists. The energy is still really powerful. And I feel like the moment the first message is sent and the other person actually sit down and reads it and take it in and knows how to receive it with an open heart and not just with their ego, with frustration, with, you know, I'm seeing the nine of wands, someone being like on defensive. I think that there is a chance for this to become a really powerful friendship. And again, it might hurt might feel like a three of swords situation. Your heart will feel really heavy because in the end, you want more than just being friends with this person. But they are in your life for a reason. And I do think like, even if this feels like it's over, it's not. You two are connected spiritually and this is definitely twin flame soulmate energy. But I don't feel like this is the person who is supposed to be your lover. Even if it feels like it, it's someone who is supposed to be your friend, who is supposed to create something with you. It could be something creative. Again, I'm feeling you guys might connect on art, 
music, uh, creativity is like a really important uh, topic between you guys, spiritually, uh, spirituality, I'm sorry. So get ready because someone is suddenly reaching out to you. And I think that's why this message felt so powerful. It's someone that you've been missing, that you've been thinking about a lot. And on their side, it's the same thing. And even if you stop believing because it's been a while, it's going to be kind of a shock when this person comes back. So it's all about how are you going to receive, how are you going to receive what they have to say? And I think that seeing the page of wands, the topic of this uh, conversation, the first conversation after being like, I miss you. Do you remember me? It's weird. I'm seeing someone literally saying to the other person, did you forget about me? And the page of wands is like, let's create something together. Remember when we talked about this and that? Let's do something. What are your ideas? Let's share and let's create something together. And I feel like there's a beautiful friendship that could come out of that. But the feeling of soulmate energy is not going anywhere. It's really powerful. And it, you might have been feeling like you're crazy, but you're really not. It's not in your head and this person is actually feeling the same way. So intense message. God damn. Uh, I might turn off the comments on this one because... Some people are just clearly going to either be offended, be like, what the hell is that message? But it needed to come out. And if only one person connects with it, um, my job is done. So thank you so much for listening to this spontaneous reading. Take care of yourself. Thank you for making me seen and heard. I appreciate it. And yeah. I feel so much better that this message is out in the world because it felt heavy on my heart for a couple of hours. Thank you so much and we'll talk really soon. Bye.